Yeah, exactly right, Jess. The first thing to talk about rip currents, 18 people were rescued from them at Old Orchard Beach on Friday, and lifeguards say most of those rescues happened in the Ocean Park area. No one was injured, but we're told 15 lifeguards were on duty that day, and they did put out yellow flags to warn swimmers about the strong rip currents. Now, I've seen yellow flags before, so what exactly has to be happening for lifeguards to be putting out that yellow flag warning? Well, it means that there's an elevation risk of rip currents mm -hmm. due to some choppy water or the seas are a little more rough. Mm -hmm. uh, but what I want to start with is showing you what you need to look for to know where a rip current could be because once you know this, it's actually pretty easy to identify. If you're looking from the sand, you want to find the gap between the waves. And what that is, is the current that's flowing out from the sand back out into the ocean. And if you're caught in one of these rip currents, what you do not want to do is try to fight it and swim back to shore. Instead, go with the rip current and try to escape it eventually by swimming parallel to the shore. Otherwise, you'll tire yourself out. And that's typically when lifeguards need to rescue people because they've been trying to fight that rip current. The good news is the seas have come down a little bit relative to where they were on Friday. They were three to four feet and today it's more like two to three foot seas. So there could still be some rip currents. They can happen at any uh, point in the summer, but Friday a little bit more of an issue in Old Orchard Beach at Ocean Park.